everyone, Phoenix Knight here. Welcome to the channel. As you can see, we've got a, I don't know if I want to call this a small product unboxing because of the number of packages we've got, or a big product unboxing because of how big one of these packages is. So we're going to split the difference and, we, and say that we've just got a product unboxing for you. I got both of these deliveries in earlier today, so now we're going to crack them open and see what's in here. In order to ease in, let's start with this mailer on top. This is just a nice small mailer from Amazon with some standard supplies in it. So let's crack it open and see what we've got in here. It's one of these pull tabs. And of course it didn't want to pull for me. We'll... All right, we'll just stick the finger in like that and we'll get it open that way. And the first thing we're greeted by is a set of pink D10s from Chessex. Looks like it's a set of 10 of those. That will make more sense once we get into the rest of it. I've got another set of the clear D10s. We've got purple, red, green, blue, orange, yellow. And the next thing we'll be greeted by is a set of black D10s. What I'm going to be doing with these is I'm going to be banging those, D those dice off. And that's going to be a designated set of Twilight Imperium dice. Where I'll keep those in with my copy of Twilight Imperium. Because it's not that long ago that we came off of a pandemic, so being able to give everybody their own colored dice seems like a really good thing rather than passing one set of dice around, but that's just my opinion. There's also one more thing in here, as we'll see. We've got a forest life counter from Game Genic. So, you've seen me start using these, these life dials more. I'm actually kind of liking how those work. I've got the, I've got the island and plains life counter dials as well, so I'm going to be using those. But the mailer here can hit the bin. These will get bagged off later. Now let's bring that huge box back in shot. This is another delivery from Jester that I've been waiting on for a few days now. He said he sent it off last week and I just now got it. So let me tell you the story of how I found out that what this was. So after I got home from work tonight, I was expecting the Amazon delivery because I'd gotten the notification in my Amazon app earlier this afternoon that my Amazon delivery came in. So I was like, okay, cool. Walk in, walk over toward the door, go to pick up the delivery. I'd also seen there was another box there. From a distance, it looked like another Amazon box. And it turns out that's what it was as I got up closer. But as I got up closer to it and looked on the inside, I saw this big beast there. I was like, Wait a second. Jester said he was struggling on finding one of the, a box to fit one of the games in this delivery. And I knew that the Amazon box wouldn't have been big enough based on that comment. So I step inside my apartment building complex down in the, on the first floor, take a look at the box, confirm everything, and then I see what he paid for shipping. I won't disclose that because privacy is a thing. And my legit first reaction was, what the hell did he put in here? The, the actual reaction was a little bit more colorful than that, but I would say I know nothing about what's in here, but that's a lie, because I know one game that's in here, I've got to guess about another, and I think this is going to be a more sports-focused delivery on the channel. So, let's say we crack this open and see what we've got in here. So we didn't do, he didn't do horribly with the tape job. Good lord, 21 pound delivery, goodness gracious. See if we can cut the tape here. Okay. Turn that to the other side carefully. Okay. There we go. And we'll slice here. Oh, come on. I think the tape was... There we go. Get the knife in there. Okay. Let's see if we can get that separated. Yes, we can. Okay. We've got it bubble wrapped in here, so let's see what all we've got in here. And just close the knife without any problems. And the first thing we're greeted by, what is this? Luftwaffe. Oh, wait. I wonder if this is a... Aerial Combat, Germany 19... Aerial Combat Germany 1943-45. Luftwaffe is an update of the classic Lou Zoki Avalon Hill game covering U.S. Army Air Forces covering the U.S. Army Air Forces strategic bombing campaign over Germany in World War II. 
As the U.S. commander, your mission is to bomb key industri industries and collapse the German war effort. You select the targets, direct the bombers, conduct the fighter sweeps, and plan a strategy to win. As the German commander, you, the entire arsenal of the Luftwaffe is at your disposal, including newly developed jet and rocket planes. Players 2, this is from Decision Games. Players 2, so I assume you'd play solo by playing both sides. 2-4 to four hours for a basic game, 8-10 to 10 for a campaign. Complexity and solitaire both at medium. Okay, cool. We'll probably go deep on that at some point a little bit later. We'll put that off to the side for the time being. Start peeling through the craft tray. Okay, we got a couple of... Looks like we got a trio of... Actually, we got a pair of counter trays from DVG. I've got a few... Oh, these are actually deep dish from the looks of it. That's cool. I've got a few extra trays as well in my collection, so we can put those... Yeah, I do sell a few extra trays. Okay, cool. So let's see what we're graded by next in here. We've got Hockey Blast from Play. Pro Hockey Sports Simulation Board Game. Realistic Pro Hockey Action on your game table. Amazing Plays, Rocket Shots, Spectacular Saves, Bone Jarring Hits, Gloves Off Fight, Momentum Swing. Let's take a look at the back of this one. Looks like there's everything in there. You can pause and read that if you want. We'll eventually go through that on a deeper dot, deeper product unboxing. Let's see what else we've got in here. What we've got... <clears throat> wow, he loaded this up, clearly. Next up, we've got Conflict of Heroes, Awakening the Bear, Russia 1941 to 1942 by... Academy Games is the logo down here. A fast-paced tactical board game by Yui Eichert. Take a quick look at the back of this one. Another two to four player game. 10 plus one to three hours. Uh, the year is 1941. Germany has defeated Poland, Denmark, Norway, and France with ease. In the morning hours of tw June 22nd, over 3 million German soldiers attacked Soviet forces along 1,600-kilometer front, heralding the beginning of Operation Barbarossa. The Germans thought that the Soviets would fold like a house of cards. Their officer cadre had been massacred by Stalin. Training was poor and morale low. The Blitzkrieg catches the Soviets by surprise, and they lose over 1.75 million men in the first two months alone. Once again, we'll go through that in... An eventual deeper product unboxing. All right, let's see what else we've got in here. All right, I think I know what this box is based on the... Let me take a look inside this box. Pitcher's batting card. This looks like another baseball season. This looks like another baseball game from 2004 with the 2004 season in it. Actually, more than just that season, looks like we've got, we've got a few seasons in here. Looks like we've got 2001, 2, 3, and 4 in here. I sort of recognize this game, but I don't remember what it's called. I don't, it's not in, it's not the game I was expecting it to be. I wish this came with directions. I don't, oh, I see it now. It's triple play baseball. I forget who made this one. I'll have to go digging for the... I'll have to go digging for the... I'll have to go digging for a set of directions for this one. But it looks like that's the cards for this one. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get that closed up. Nice and neat. Come on. Picture cards are not one to close for me. Okay, there we go. We got that closed up. Next game we're greeted by... is Guadalajara Standard Combat Series from MMP, Multi-Man Publishing. Take a look at the back of this one. After the failure of Franco's nationalist troops to surround and conquer Madrid during the first months of the Spanish Civil War, Spain looked doomed to a long war of attrition. During this gloomy period, a new force made its appearance, the motorized Italian Corpo Truppe Voluntari, CTV. 
Lavishly equipped and overconfident after its first successful performance in the fall of Malaga, the Italians thought they could quickly and easily end the war. Spain was not Abyssinia, however, and Madrid was not Malaga. The New People's Republican Army was no longer the ragtag mix of militia units that had fought the Nationalists only a few months before. The Italians were repulsed after a fierce campaign fought under very tough conditions. Madrid was once again saved for the Republicans, and two more years of war would ensue. Um, we might have to dig into this one to get a player count on this one. I can probably go hit the geek on this one as well. We'll put that off to the side. And in here we... I think this is probably the last thing in here from the looks of it. Yes. Yes, this looks like the last thing in here. So I guess the game I was expecting... Well, the game I was expecting, based on the charts he sent me, wasn't in here. But this is the game I was expecting to be in here, as we've got Stratomatic Hockey by Stratomatic Games. Coach real pro hockey players, the most statistically accurate hockey simulation game... Three games in one, Basic, Advanced, and Super Advanced. And we've got all the advertisements there. We'll take a look at the back of the box. You can pause that there and read it. I'm presuming everything's in here. We'll find out when we do a deep dive product unboxing on that. Wow, that is a lot of stuff that Jester was so gracious to send up this way. But looks like that's everything in this delivery product unboxing. Holy cow, that was heavy. But that will do it for this product unboxing. As for what's coming up on the channel, tomorrow we're going to be playing Expeditions from Stonemeyer Games. Saturday we're continuing Mystical Munchies out of the Cooking with Deadpool cookbook with the entree, not the only fish in the sea. Sunday the Winter Campaign will continue in Arkham Horror the Card Game with the third scenario, In Too Deep. Thank you for watching the video. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on notifications so you get my content. Be well, stay safe, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and I'll be back with more videos in the future. Until then, take care everyone.